Hi everyone, today's video's topic is going to be brain fingerprinting. This technique has another name, brain mapping. So it is a technique that is used to identify the criminals on the basis of the brain print that is formed when a particular kind of image or a writing is shown to them. So on the basis of brain print, we identify the criminal and this happens when a particular kind of handwriting or image is shown to the culprit. This technique basically makes use of the P300 complex. This is a series of a brain wave component that can be measured. So brain, it is a kind of brain wave. Now this brain wave is produced when a certain um, handwriting or image uh, that the person has already seen is uh, made to see and uh, then only we get to see a brain wave. So if we um, show a particular picture to a criminal and this complex, this P300 wave is generated then that means the per person has been at that crime scene before so we can detect it. This technique was discovered by Dr. Lawrence Farewell. So uh, now I'll be telling you different steps that are used. <coughs> first, for, first of all, uh, the person is fitted with a hairband. So suspect headband. This is a special kind of headband that is equipped with electrodes, sensors that will detect the brain wave. So this has equipped with sensors this is fit on the head of the person and it has electrodes that measure brain wave now when and after this an image is shown to the person that we think that the suspect would have seen earlier and and hence will be able to see a response so after this after uh, setting up the headband, we will show them the image. Now this image would be shown on a mobile phone or computer screen or a printout or anything. Now when the brain recognizes something familiar that they have seen that the brain has seen already, then it will elicit a wave-like response which is known as murmur. So a brain wave response is generated which is known as murmur its full form is memory encoding memory and encoding related multifaceted electroencephalographic encephalographic response the murmur in turn contains the brain response known as p300 that we talked about the headband it generates analog signals and we use an EEG amplifier which will act uh, whose data we will study data is studied now this test doesn't take much time around in 10 minutes we can complete the test so the graph that we have is going to have three different kinds of colored lines we are going to have a red line second we are going to have a green and a blue line so uh, the kind of images that we will be showing to the suspect are of three different natures. First is uh, the image that suspect is expected to know. It could be a certain belonging of the suspect like cloth piece or uh, it could be uh, his picture of his house or any certain thing. Then. Um, Next, we'll be showing the image that he has no idea about. Like, we expect that he has no idea about that image, which is completely irrelevant uh, stimulus. Then, the blue, uh, then another picture which uh, he, which is from the crime scene, and only the perpetrator or the one who has committed the crime, crime is expected to know, to have seen that particular image. So, red line will. Uh, B for the images that the suspect is expected to know. Green will show that suspect is not expected to know and only blue line is for uh, images that only 
the perpetrator so these are the two possible kind of graph that we can see here we have red line for uh, the pictures that he might that he should be knowing then we have blue that only the perpetrator will be knowing and i didn't have a green marker so i used a black marker in that place in its place then um in here in this picture we can see that the red one that he's expected to know and the blue one that only the perpetrator will be knowing so if they are close then that means that uh, the person has seen the uh, image before and uh, the suspect knows the crime scene so blue and red close which means person has seen the image before and this one we can see that uh, the blue image is near to the um, the blue line is near to the line uh, which has this uh, which is not which is something that the person is not expected to know so that means that uh, the person has not even seen the picture image uh, uh, before that is the image wasn't familiar so here in this blue and green close so person hasn't seen the image before so just to wrap up we can say that we have four main phases of brain fingerprint first is the crime scene evidence collection in this phase we go at the crime scene we go there we collect we could collect things from there which could be the weapon of crime or it could be the, a picture of the crime scene itself we and this will be shown to the suspect second comes the brain evidence collection in this uh, we follow those steps of fitting the headband and then showing that picture and everything third comes computer based computer uh, computer analysis this part will be including the formation of uh, the graph by the by the computer and uh, we next steps comes the scientist evaluation in which the person uh, will be evaluating that graph that we just discussed and uh, on the basis of that they will be forming the result or we can see the report so this was all about the brain fingerprinting or we can say brain mapping so if you like the video please like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel